Hello there, sports fans. We're off down to London for the MLB London Series Game 2, and I am being Passenger Princess. So let's go! It was the New York Mets against the Philadelphia Phillies. We got the tickets very last minute, which meant trains were not an option, so we had to head south on the hellhole that is the A1. Coincidentally, while I was over in New York last November, I visited the home of the Mets, so today I was an honorary Mets fan. Don't want to brag, but me and Mrs. Met really hit it off. Do you reckon she remembers me? Anyway, enough of me lusting after baseball mascots, and back to the London series. We'd been last year to watch the Louisville Cardinals against the Chicago Cubs, and we enjoyed it so much we decided to go again this year. The A1's not all bad, I suppose. Look at this fine bit of culture. Okay, now I take it all back. The A1 is always absolutely hideous. Okay, enough moaning about the A1. So we've arrived at Stanmore Station. Top tip for anyone travelling down to London for an event from the north. We always park at Stanmore. It's the end of the Jubilee line. And you can just tube straight into the central London from there. Luckily for us, Stratford's on the Jubilee line. So we just have to stay on the one tube all the way. Car parking at the tube station is really reasonable as well. Only £6 for the day. The one thing I will say is if you're going to Wembley, you almost certainly wouldn't get parked there because it's always rammed. But because we're going to the London Stadium at the complete opposite end of the Jubilee line, we were absolutely fine. And here we are at Stratford Station along with loads of other baseball fans just for the short walk now round to the London Stadium. We found our friends on the way, so here we are heading into the stadium for a great day. Only a couple of beers deep and the conversation's already wild, talking about someone who dresses up as dead animals for $55. Go check it out. Recording Poppy, recording Jim. <laughs> we took advantage of all the photo ops in and around the stadium and even bumped into vintage sports legend stuck in the 90s sport who was kind enough to stop for a picture with us. And then we all had a ding in the batting cages and we were all surprisingly good at it. Yeah! Then it was time to find our seats and enjoy the game. Now it's time to enjoy the action. Now I won't lie to you, we were not very good at recording hits. So please enjoy the inane ramblings of British people watching a sport they barely understand. found Mrs. Met, but it doesn't look like she remembers me, does it? Ah well, we'll always have that Thanksgiving weekend. Treat her well, Mr. Met. Now let's get back to the game. I don't know if mascot race is a standard at ballparks across the pond, but we were treated to this absolute spectacle. Oh, who's going to take it? Let's go, Reds! Let's go, Reds! 
We completely missed Rob McElhenney throwing the ceremonial first pitch as we were in the beer queue, but we did catch him singing the seventh inning stretch. And that was that. The Mets won a really exciting game and we had an absolutely amazing time with the London series for the second year in a row. We'll definitely be back next year.